Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to use STAD Advanced Concrete Design to design the concrete beams for a structure that has already been created in STAD Pro. We are now at the step in our workflow where we're ready to perform a design. To start that process, go to the Design tab in your menu bar and click Auto Design. Now STAD Advanced Concrete Design will design all of the concrete beams for the combined effects of flexure, shear, and torsion. Each section will be designed for each load combination to, re to arrive at required areas of longitudinal reinforcement and shear reinforcement. Shear due to torsion will also be calculated. Now at the end of the design process, if you have any failures, you'll be able to see a beam failure dialog. You'll also see that particular beam color coded in red. Everything else in the design output table is in green, indicating that STAT Advanced Concrete Design was successful in finding an appropriate design solution, including reinforcement layout for those concrete beams. Now for this particular model, we do have one concrete beam failure for beam G4. If we wanted more information on any failures, if they're reported, we can go to the, we can go to the reports menu bar option and click failure diagnostics. This will give you some additional information about what in particular failed for the concrete beam. When reviewing any report, you can go ahead and click on the X to close that report and return to your design output window. Now, anytime you want to make any changes after a design is performed, you're going to have to go ahead and unlock your design. As you can see, all of the settings are currently unavailable because there is a current design. To unlock your design, you can go up to your toolbar and click on the unlock option and then we'll click yes. Now at this point we can go ahead and make any changes that might be necessary for this example. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at the beam that failed which is our beam G4 for this particular model. Now in the general reinforcement settings we specify ductile design as special moment frames for all of the concrete beams in this model. Now for this model, we're gonna go ahead and assume that the single span beams at the right hand side of the structure shall not be designed as ductile members. So if you need to specify that information on a member by member basis, you can go to the design grouping tab and adjust the ductile option. For this model, we're gonna go ahead and select no for G4, and we are going to repeat that process for any other single span concrete beams. Once you make any changes, you can go ahead and re-perform the auto design. Once the analysis is complete, the design output table will be displayed on your screen. And again, the left-hand pane will be color-coded, indicating the status of the connection. All concrete beams are now indicated in green, which means that a successful design was determined for all beams. We can see that now, since beam G4 has passed the code check, that the ductility requirements for this beam are what was failing. Now at this point, we're ready to go ahead and review the rest of our results in the STAD Advanced Concrete Design. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.